Hey Shug, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do the daily collector reading for Monday, January 17th. Today is the full moon, guys. So we're doing a daily collector reading for Monday, January 17th. That is the full moon in Cancer. Um, so I did do the uh, meditation for the week to kind of get an idea of what well, I'm looking at one on one, <laughs> even though it's not one o'clock in the morning. But uh, I did do a meditation on the um, collective energy for the week, like what we can expect to experience here um, this week. And it looked like um, there be there are going to be some changes um, this week, or even like the energy of starting some changes where um, people are moving away from like difficult times. Um, it's like an ending of something that has been occurring for a while. Spirit is like, don't resist it. Let it happen, okay? Because it's going to like propel you into like better times, into like a better situation, um, better opportunities, okay? Um, don't, even if like the changes isn't something that you necessarily wanted, okay? But it's like, this is what has to happen. Like, take the, the changes as like a lesson learned, okay? To um, make better changes in the future. Don't proceed with like, you know, seeking revenge or um, like the blame game. Don't do not do that because it just adds more negativity to you, okay, to carry on. And, you know, you want to not do that because you're actually leading towards something that is going to propel you into something that's more positive um, and that like really resonates with your heart, okay? So um, just, you know, that was the overall collective energy, okay? So let's see what actually comes out for today. All right, for the collective, what do we have for today? January 17th. What do we have for the collective for today? And I'm going to read these messages. So I used them during my uh, full moon reading, but I'm going to read this one. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> it's three. Okay, it's three cards, guys. I'm going to read it because these messages are short. All right. You got a new romantic cycle begins. Okay. Um, conclusions are within reach. All right, and meditate and contemplate. All right, bottom of the deck says, show the world the real you. Okay, so let's see. I got my, my glasses, my grocery store glasses. Yeah, y'all like them? They're new. Okay, so um, new moon in Libra says, that's number 54, page 54. Okay, so it says this. Um, so this is the new moon in Libra card, all right? And it says, Libra is a sign of love and harmony, negotiation and relationships. It is harmonious, kind, and luxurious, and always aiming for balance. So when we have the new moon in Libra, or at any time you draw this card, there's a restart possible for anything and everything connected to partnerships, negotiations, appearances, and justice. Remember that Libra is depicted by a set of scales. This energy wants to bring things back to equilibrium, okay? Back into balance, okay? So this is spirit giving you a new start. A new romantic cycle begins or a new start in something balance okay again balance to a situation let's see why is a new romantic cycle begins here for the collective why is this card here for the collective spirit please make it clear okay yeah got the hierophant here okay the Hierophant is about commitment, okay, and the full energy, all right? That's about taking a leap of faith, all right? With the Hermit energy on the bottom, these are three major arcana in the world behind that, four, okay? So this is about taking a leap of faith towards, like, higher level commitment, okay? The Hermit energy is like someone thinking about that, okay? Figuring themselves out, learning about it, becoming wiser, okay? So with a new romantic cycle begins, it's like someone is definitely taking a leap of faith towards commitment, okay? Um it is that full moon energy tonight i mean the same okay so yeah mm -hmm. yeah 
with the eight of pentacles this is about putting in the work putting in the effort okay because with the five of pentacles and the strength card is someone that's like gathering the strength to like build themselves up five of pentacles is like a left out in the cold alone type energy and it's taking some some strength for them to maybe build themselves up from this okay yeah maybe they were in a commitment that left them in this um state okay but the four of wands and the star energy this is healing from that okay maybe they have healed it's taking some time or some energy to gain the strength to heal from that okay but someone is starting something brand new okay taking a leap of faith ready to put in the work and the effort it says conclusions are within reach that's the next card here full moon eclipse Ninety-six. Who says this? All right. It says full moons are nearly always about climaxes and very often about conclusions. Full moon eclipses are the same, but on steroids. A full moon eclipse can be hard to handle because it portends change. Something many of us are uncomfortable with but change is a part of life and this card no matter when you pull it reminds you of that fact full moon eclipse can also give you give us a glimpse into what carl jung called the shadow self work with your darkness okay so like it's like it's forcing you to kind of like see things about yourself that might not be so good okay so when it says conclusions are within reach it's like um maybe this card is forcing someone to like see where they need to make some changes okay why is this card here conclusions are within reach yeah <laughs> seeing things from a new perspective <laughs> with this card hangman energy yeah ten of wands Someone is starting to see things from a new perspective, okay? With the Ten of Wands and the World Energy, this is about ending a difficult cycle, okay? Ending a very difficult cycle. So when it says conclusions are within reach, a very difficult cycle is coming to a close because someone is seeing things differently, okay? It does require you to, like, look at your shadow side. You know, what, what changes do I need to make within myself? What toxic habits or patterns do I have, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yeah. And the page of, so, page of Cups here. The Page of Cups is like an apology. I call it an olive branch, okay? It's a message of love, okay? With the Eight of Swords here, this is like someone being up in their head, okay? It's called self-imposed restriction. It's like you creating obstacles and uh, hurdles when there really aren't any, okay? And the Four of Swords is someone healing from that. It's like, okay, yeah, I've changed. I've healed that aspect of myself, okay? No longer creating obstacles when there aren't any, okay? Yeah, someone's apologizing here. Conclusions are within reach. They're seeing things differently, and they want to, like, you know, take a leap of faith here, maybe put in the work or the effort, all right? Conclusions are within reach. For the collective, Okay. Mm -hmm. oh this is nice okay yeah the three of swords is about heartache okay so definitely someone is seeing things differently okay changing aspects of themselves apologizing for maybe their toxic habits or patterns um maybe even apologizing for heartbreak okay because the heartbreak um might have come from like secrets or um you know illusions uh fear okay some heartbreak was caused because of that all right yeah but with this knight of cups energy this is someone giving of themselves taking the necessary steps to give of themselves maybe communicate a message um do a, make a kind gesture to you okay and with the knight of wands energy this is about taking action okay so not only are the messages coming through but action is actions are being taken mm -hmm. and with the will of fortune it's about it's time okay the Will of Fortune is about, you know, destiny. It's about moving on to the next chapter of life, okay? I feel like someone is ready to move things forward, okay? Um, and with the Five of Cups on the bottom and the Two of Swords, yeah, regret. Um, 
like blocking out a decision, regret not making a decision, regret avoiding a decision, okay? Yeah, it's like someone is seeing their shadow self, okay? And making those necessary changes, okay? So you might have a decision you need to make here in this, you know, today or this week and you know, around this time. And so spirit might be telling you to meditate and contemplate with this last card here. All right, new moon in Pisces. page 64 all right and it says this and put my glasses on you know i can't see okay so it says pisces is a sign of reveries yeah reveries and mysteries or deaths of emotion idealism and hopeless romantics it is a sign of water and the unconscious its energy is deep like watery depths the new moon in pisces indicates a time to listen to your feelings and to allow your emotions free reign whatever you're feeling as you pull this card is more likely than the truth unless you've been kidding yourself somehow and only you know if that's the case or not okay so this card, Meditate and Contemplate, is basically going to highlight the emotions that you're feeling at that time, okay? It's the new moon in Pisces. So let's see, what emotions is it highlighting, okay? <laughs> what emotions is this Meditate and Contemplate card highlighting? Because we did see the Hermit card when we um, were clarifying the first card here, okay? Why is Meditate and Contemplate here for the collective? Meditate and contemplate. Why is this card here for the collective spirit? Meditate and contemplate. Okay. The Page of Pentacles is communicating an offer, okay? Um, but the Magician being here and the Three of Pentacles, this is like manifesting, creating an opportunity to build, to collaborate, to work together. Um, this is like how someone truly feels, okay? It's like someone really wants a new beginning, okay? Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups, okay? Um, an opportunity to celebrate, an opportunity to start something brand new, an opportunity to collaborate, work together, build something, Okay, meditate and contemplate. Two of Wands, Ten of Swords, okay. Two of Wands is about choosing um, a path, okay. The Two of Wands is generally about going into, the, into a direction that is unknown. So like you have two paths in front of you. One is like the road less traveled, okay. So one is like, maybe the road that is dark and so you don't know what's down that road or the road that is unclear and so with um the ten of swords on the bottom someone might have been reluctant in making a choice at one point and so the meditate and contemplate uh contemplation was needed okay but we have show the world the real you on the bottom all right full moon in aquarius Idiot. And that card says this. Every full moon is a time to release and let go. But the addition of Aquarian energy to the mix triples the message. Aquarius is the opposite of clingy. And pulling this card at any time suggests either... You need to let go or someone is thinking they are the ones who need to let go, perhaps of you. What needs to go? What is the right thing to do? Whatever happens next could be highly unconventional or unexpected. Okay, so there is some abrupt changes that are happening in this full moon energy, right? <laughs> That's what happens. Okay, so let's see. 
Why show the world the real you here for the collective? Show the world the real you. Please make it clear why is this card here for the collective? Okay, yeah, that was <laughs> that was definitely spirit. I don't know what was happening the first time, but that was spirit. Okay, <laughs> King of Pentacles is there. With the Three of Pentacles here, this is someone that's willing to be cooperative, right? You saw that energy, right? Working together, collaborating, all right? Because with the Five of Cups here, this is about sadness, sorrow, regrets, um, shoulda, coulda, wouldas, okay? The Nine of Swords is a sabotaging energy, okay? Yes, it's a, you know stress and anxiety, but it's a sabotaging energy. And maybe someone is seeing that. I was about to say. Seriously, I was going to say maybe someone has seen that shadow side of themselves because we saw that in the conclusions are within reach, right? Yeah, but this person, yes, is seeing their shadow self, okay? And so with the emperor right there, they corrected that shadow and become the emperor, okay? So someone is now like the divine masculine energy. Doesn't have to be a male, just divine masculine, okay? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I have for you, Shug. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Wish you guys already. Bye.